Hello everyone. Myself Pavani. I am working as assistant professor in the department of CSC AML in MLR Institute of Technology. Today I would like to give a session on language and grammar in natural language processing. This is a overall view of the session. What is language and grammar? Why is grammar important? Challenges in NLP grammar. Types of grammar. First of all, what is language and grammar? What is a language? Language is a means of communication to share knowledge and expressions. This is the meaning of language. Grammar. Grammar is a set of rules for constructing sentences in a language used to analyze and understand the structure in text data. This is a overall definition of grammar and language. Uh, take one example uh, human to human interaction. There is a human to human interaction. We use one language. For example, English. We have to follow some grammar rules. This is a, some basic example of some language and grammar. This is a, some picture. Language, grammar. We have to follow some rules to speak with a some person to person communication. Why is grammar important? Automatic processing of language requires grammar rules and exceptions of a language to explain to the computer. Explain to the computer. Grammar defines language by specifying how sentences are structured. The grammar defines itself in how sentences are structured. It helps computers to parse, generate sentences accurately. It helps to the computers to parse and generate sentences accurately. These rules relate information, coding device, the language processing level, not only the world language level. It only process at the processing level only, not world language level. That is the importance of grammar. Next. Challenge is in NLP grammar. The first and basic uh, challenge is natural languages are constantly changing. The real time example is the word awesome. Originally meaning is filling the awe. But now commonly used meaning is great or fantastic. This is the one of the challenging NLP grammar. There are many hard to specify exceptions. There are many hard to specify exceptions. The example is the plural sentence is word is mouse. This is a mees. But the plural of house is houses rather than ice. This is a some exceptions. It's a very hard to specify this, this type of exceptions. Several efforts have led to various type of grammars. Some of these grammars focus on derivation while other focus on relationships. Some derivations grammars are phrase structure grammar. Phrase structure grammar. The relationships are penny and framework. Penny in framework. That means phrase and language model. And next generative grammar. Next context free grammar. These are all some relationship. This is about Challenging NLP grammars. Next, types of grammars. Already we discussed uh, the relationship. These are transformation grammar, lexical functional grammar, government and binding grammar, generalized grammar, dependency grammar, opinion, language model, tree adjoining grammar. This is a types of, these are the types of grammars. First one, transformational grammar. It describes how different sentences forms derived through transformations. This is a meaning it, it is only there. Transformation. It transforms the sentences forms through transformation. It mainly focuses on sentence structures transformation. Next, lexical functional grammar. It separates the syntax structure from functional aspects 
it's mainly focus on syntax syntax meaning garment and binding defines syntax structures based on the hierarchical hierarchical rules based on the hierarchical structure rules means it mainly depends on syntax being syntax next generalized phrase structure grammar formal grammar specifying hierarchical structures that means it depends on phrase structure rules that means sentence structure rules sentence formation dependency grammar emphasizes the relationship between words rather than constituents structures words rather than constituent structures that means it depends on between words dependency between the word it means context dependency is a dependency between the words next penian grammar or penian penian language model derived from ancient sanskrit grammar it is basically from sanskrit that means it is a morphological structure next one tree adjoining grammar means tree structures we can derive sentence in the form of tree structures this is a overall types of grammar next according to all these grammars chomsky introduced a generative grammar before after this all grammars after this all grammars chomsky introduced a generative grammar it uses a set of rules to specify or generate well formed sentences is a by using generative grammar we can specify the well formed sentences chomsky argued that transformation grammar compared to phrase structure grammars the transformation grammar is more efficient to generate the language sentences sentences compared to phrase structure grammars each sentence in a language has two levels of representation first one deep structure second one surface structure the deep structure meaning is it represents the overall sentences meaning surface structure represents the sentence meaning take two example pooja plays veena veena is played by pooja sentence noun phrase verb phrase here noun is pooja verb is plays noun phrase is veena this is a figure one of sentence one that means surface structure surface structure the first sentence one next sentence that means structure noun phrase verb phrase here veena verb is played by pooja this is a structure for sentence surface structure for sentence 2 that means is a figure 2 this is the structure for the sentence 1 this is a structure for the sentence 2 right deep structure deep structure sentence noun phrase verb phrase pooja this is the overall meaning of the sentence try to understand pooja plays veena is also same meaning veena is played by pooja is also same meaning but difference is surface structure defines the sentence form deep structure defines the meaning of the overall sentences 
this is a basic structures of the surface structure and deep structure the mapping from deep structure surface structure is carried by a transformations this is a generative grammar according to the chomsky means transformation grammar there are three types of transformation grammar phase structure grammar transformation rules and morpho phonemic rules first one phase structure grammar it consists of set of rule the every grammar contains some set of rules depends on the grammar it will it will change that means depends on structure language sentences and assigns consists of set of rules that generates natural language sentences and assigns structural descriptions sentences that can be generated using these rules are termed as grammatical these are the sub rules sentences noun verb plus noun plus verb phrase verb phrase is verb plus noun phrase noun phrase determination plus noun verb auxiliary verb s means s means sentence noun phrase verb phrase determination auxiliary some examples of determination the a a an verb catch right cat or eat some eat noun police nature auxiliary will is can this is all about phrase structure grammar it follows some structural rules next transformation grammar the self it is a meaning transformation grammar it transfers active to active sentences to passive sentence that means this contains set of transformation rules which transform underlying phrase structure to derived ones means it transform active to passive active to passive underlying phrase structures to derived ones this is a rule that means one surface to another surface representation noun phrase auxiliary verb noun phrase noun phrase auxiliary plus b plus en plus verb by plus noun phrase here this is a one source this is a another source this is a active this is a passive in passive we are adding some strings those are b e n by these are some string based on the sentence rearrangement take an example the police will catch the snatcher this is a active sentence structure noun phrase verb phrase the noun phrase contains the police this is a active sentence structure verb phrase the verb phrase contains will catch the snatcher verb plus noun phrase here auxiliary auxiliary verb phrase auxiliary is will verb catch here determine determination the the noun phrase is snatcher this is the structure for the sentence for active active sentences figure for active means active sentences
next what is transformation in grammar will do it transforms the active sentences to passive sen sentence what is a passive se sentence the snatcher will be caught by the police sentence noun phrase verb phrase noun phrase contains the termination snatcher verb phrase verb will auxiliary will here be be here we are adding some strings to the rearrangements of the sentence here b is not there here we are adding the b some passive rearrangements verb phrase here b caught verb is c caught by the police police is the noun phrase thy by and by is the determination this is a structure for the passive sentence this is the overall about transformation grammar rules next third one morpho phonemic rules morpho phonemic rules this rule do not express conceptual categories rather than they simply specify the pronunciation of morphemes in a context the morphophonemic will do only specifies the pronunciation rather than the categories of the particular sentence that means it is a interface between phonology and morphology phonology means sounds speech sounds morphology means structure structure of words example changes in sleep in caller slept slept bind bound these are all morphemes these are morphemes that means meaningful short words these are all some morphemes this is a some real time example of morpho phonemic rules this is a overall summary about language and grammar language and grammar what is a grammar language and why the grammar is important challenges of the grammar and types of grammars thank you